Good day everyone! Welcome back to Math A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lessons for today are function, function notation, and evaluation of functions. Function is a special type of relation wherein no two ordered pairs have an equal abscissas. For every value of x, there is exactly one value of y. Ibig sabihin, unique ang value ng ating x o ng first elements ng ating relation. In that case, we called it as function. So let us answer this activity. Identify if the given equation or rule is a function or not. Given here our example number 1, ang equation or rule natin ay y equals 3x plus 7. So paano nga ba natin malalaman kung ang equation na ito ay function o hindi? So first, kailangan nating mag-assign ng value ng x para makuha natin ang value ng y. Okay? In this case, let us find y if x is equal to 0. So take note, pwede kayong mag-assign ng kahit anong number para sa value ng ating x. Okay, so ang equation natin is y equals 3x plus 7. Since ang x is equal to 0, papalitan natin ang x ng 0. So ito ay magiging y equals 3 times 0 plus 7. So, if we're going to evaluate this, so we have here 3 times 0 is equal to 0, and 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. So, ang value ng ating y is equal to 7. Ibig sabihin, for every value of x, there corresponds one value of y. Kung ang x ay 0, ang value ng y ay magiging 7. So, this is a function. Again, for every value of x, there is exactly one value of y. For our next example, ang given natin ay x squared plus y squared equals 16. So, is it a function or not? So, first, Kailangan natin isolve ang y. So, para masolve natin ang y, kailangan ang variable y natin ay nasa left side and then the rest of the variables and constant ay nasa right side. Kaya, we're going to do the transposition o yung tinatawag nating addition property of equality. So, we now have here y squared equals 16 minus x squared. As you can see, based dito sa ating original equation, so iniwan lang natin ang y squared sa isang side o sa left side, and then we copied equal 16, and we transpose x squared, kaya nagkaroon tayo dito ng minus x squared. Next, since my square ang ating y, we have to get the square root of the whole equation. Kaya ito ay magiging Square root of y squared is equal to the square root of 16 minus x squared. So next, let us solve. The square root of y squared is equal to y equals, and since nakuha natin yung square root dito, so magkakaroon tayo dito ng positive negative square root of 16 minus x squared. So we now have here, y equals positive negative square root of 16 minus x squared. So, we already solved for y. Next, again, mag assign tayo ng value ng x para makuha natin ang value ng y. So, ang nilagay kong value ng x is equal to 0. So, pwede kayong mag-assign ng any number para sa value ng x. So, in this case, 
let us find y if x is equal to 0. So, based dito sa ating nakuhang y equals positive negative square root of 16 minus x squared, papalitan natin ang x ng 0. Kaya ito ay magiging y equals positive negative square root of 16 minus 0. Since ang square ng 0 is equal to 0, so kaya 0 na lang yung nilagay natin. So, if we're going to solve 16 minus 0, that will be equal to y is equal to positive negative square root of 16. Since 16 is a perfect square, so makukuha natin is y equals positive negative 4. So, as you can see, Dalawa ang value ng ating y. y is equal to positive 4 and then y is also equal to negative 4. It means that our equation is not a function. So y, for every value of x, there are two values of y. Kaya, this is not a function. Third example. So, ang equation natin ay y minus x squared equals 2. So, again, we have to solve for y. So, ang ating equation na y minus x squared equals 2 ay magiging y equals 2 plus x squared. So, nagkaroon ulit tayo ng addition property of equality o ng transposition. Next, we have to find y if x is equal to 0. So, nag-assign ulit tayo ng value ng x para makuha natin yung value ng y. So, again, ang example ko, ang value ng x ay 0. Pero, pwede kayong gumamit ng kahit anong number aside from 0. So, ito ay magiging y equals 2 plus 0 squared is already equal to 0. So, ang value ng ating y is equal to 2. It means that if x is equal to 0, ang value ng y natin ay 2. So, isa lang yung nakuha nating sagot. So, our equation is a function. For every value of x, there is exactly one value of y. Our next topic is function notation. Function of x is commonly denoted as f of x. So, ang basa dito sa symbol na to ay f of x. y is a function of x. Can be written as y equals f of x or y equals g of x or y equals p of x. So, when we say function, we commonly use F. Pero, pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng ibang letters like G, P, H, and others basta hindi lang yung X and Y. These are called function notation. It means that Y is a function of X and that Y depends on X. The dependent variable is y or f of x. And the independent variable is x. Okay, so let us write the following in function notation form. So first equation natin ay 2x plus y equals 6. So paano natin ito gagawing function notation? So ang first step, we have to change our equation in slope-intercept form or y equals mx plus b. So, this will become y equals negative 2x plus 6. So, 2x is transposed, kaya nagkaroon tayo dito ng negative 2x. Next step, change y into function of x. So, yung y ay papalitan lang natin ng function of x. So, this will become 
f of x equals negative 2x plus 6. So, this is already our function notation form. Next example, 9x plus 3y equals 12. So, again, ang first step natin is to change the equation in slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. So, ito ay magiging 3y equals yung 9x will be transposed. So, we have here negative 9x plus 12. Next, since y has numerical coefficient which is equal to 3, kailangan natin i-divide ang whole equation sa 3. So, we now have here 3y over 3 equals negative 9x over 3 plus 12 over 3. So, next, 3y divided by 3 will be equal to y. And then, negative 9x divided by 3 is equal to negative 3x. And then, 12 divided by 3 is equal to positive 4. So, this is now our slope intercept form, which is y equals negative 3x plus 4. Next step is to change y into function of x. So, ang y ay papalitan lang natin ng function of x. So, we now have here f of x or function of x is equal to negative 3x plus 4. So, these are the ways in writing an equation into function notation form. Okay, so for our next topic, so, we have to evaluate the given function. So, paano ba nag -e evaluate ng function? Example, ang given natin ay f of x equals 5x minus 2. So, we have to find a, f of 3, and then b, f of negative 4. Unahin natin yung a, which is f of 3. So, ibig sabihin niyan, Ang value ng ating x is 3. So, ano kaya ang magiging value ng ating function? So, isa-substitute natin ang 3 sa x. So, ang ating function ay magiging f of 3 is equal to 5 times 3 minus 2. So, kung ito ay ating evaluate so 5 times 3 is equal to 15, and 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. So, ibig sabihin yan, if x is equal to 3, our y or our function of x is equal to 13. Next, for our b, f of negative 4. So, this time, ang x ay papalitan natin ng negative 4. So, our function will become f of negative 4 is equal to copy 5 and then x will be replaced by negative 4 and then copy minus 2. So, if we're going to solve this, we have 5 times negative 4 is equal to negative 20 and then copy minus 2. So, negative 20 minus 2 is equal to negative 22. It means that if x is equal to negative 4, the value of y is equal to negative 22. Take note that y is equal to f of x. Okay. Okay, so for our next example... Evaluate g of x is equal to 2x squared plus x plus 1. So, find g of negative 1 and g of 5. So, first, let us find g of negative 1. So, ang x ay papalitan ng negative 1. So, this will become g of negative 1 is equal to, copy natin yung 2, and then, x will be replaced by negative 1 
and then raise it to the second power. Plus, again, x is equal to negative 1, and then copy plus 1. Next, so we're going to solve. So this will be equal to, unahin natin yung naka enclose sa parenthesis with exponent. So negative 1 raised to the second power is equal to positive 1. So we now have here 2 times 1. And then we have here negative 1 plus 1. So we have here different signs. So we're going to subtract. So if we're going to subtract this negative 1 plus 1, this will be equal to 0. So our answer is 2 times 1 plus 0 is equal to 2. So it means that if x is equal to negative 1, ang value ng ating function is equal to 2. Okay, so let us find now g of 5. So ang x naman natin ngayon ay papalitan natin ng 5. So ito ay magiging g of 5 is equal to, copy natin yung 2, from our original equation, our original function, so we have here 2, and then x will be replaced by 5, and then raise it to the second power, plus, again, x will be replaced by 5, and then copy plus 1. So let us solve. This will become 5 raised to the second power is equal to 25. So we just copied 2. And then, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So next, 2 times 25 is equal to 50. And 50 plus 6 is now equal to 56. It means that if x is equal to 5, our function will be equal to 56. So for our last example, let us evaluate this function h of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 3. Let us find h of 1 and h of 2. So, for our h of 1, ang x natin ay papalitan ng 1. So, we have here, h of 1 is equal to, so x will be replaced by 1. So, we have 1 raised to the third power minus 2. Again, x will be replaced by 1. So, we have here 1 squared plus x will be replaced by 1. So, we have here 1 and then copy plus 3. So, let us solve. 1 cube is equal to 1. And then 1 squared is equal to 1 times 2. So, we have here minus 2. And then copy plus 1 and plus 3. So, by solving, we have here 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 3. So, it means that if x is equal to 1, the value of our y or function is equal to 3. Next, we have here h of 2. So, it means that x will be replaced by 2. So, our function will be h of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 plus 3. So, lahat ng x ay pinalitan ng 2. So, by solving, we have here 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And then, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. And then copy plus 2 and plus 3. So let us solve. 8 minus 8 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to positive 5. It means that if x is equal to 2, our function is equal to 5. So that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Grace. See you again next time. Bye!